So if you want to find out what my number one Disney World ride is, then watch this video until the end because it could literally be anything. It, 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 it doesn't have to be a roller coaster, it could literally be anything else because it's a Disney park. So at number 10 we have Spaceship Earth at Epcot and now this ride, you might be wondering where's this ride, this is the ride that's inside of that giant sculpture in the middle of Epcot that looks like a giant golf ball, this is the flagship attraction of the park and it opened back, uh, back on the opening day of the park in 1982 and it is the flagship attraction of Epcot. It basically it's like a dark ride, it's about the history of communication, it's absolutely incredible, I really love it. The, it's just so immersively themed. I mean, I love the animatronics on the ride. I mean, obviously because it's a Disney park, it's going to have incredible theming. I'll, I absolutely love it. I just love the feel of it in just traveling through thousands of years of history. And I absolutely love it. It's absolutely incredible. And it's it's just so amazing. It's a flagship, like I said before, it's a flagship attraction of Epcot and it's absolutely incredible. It was actually supposed to go it was actually supposed to go for a two year overhaul starting last May, but obviously because of Covid that was postponed, it's still open right now until further notice, but yeah. Uh, Spaceship Perth is the number 10 attraction at Epcot, I mean in Walt Disney World. Now, on to number 9. So at number 9 we have Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom, and this is basically this ride opened in 1971. And uh, upon opening, it was the first roller coaster in the Disney parks to be completely indoors. It basically, and this POV you're seeing right now, this is just the lights on POV because normally it'll be in complete darkness and you won't be able to see anything. So I've gotten the lights on POV so you can actually see what's happening. But yeah, it's, it's basically, it's themed to space travel and it is absolutely incredible, even though it is a bit rough in some parts because it's all it's an old ride and literally it was built in 1971. It was actually built by the park themselves. They didn't get a manufacturer to build it. The park built it themselves. But yeah, it's absolutely weird, and I love the feeling of being not being on a roller coaster where I can't see where I'm going and just have no idea what's going to happen next. And it's absolutely insane. I love it. But yeah, Space Mountain. It's really good. It's basically that ride inside of that giant um, mountain science fictiony type building in Tomorrowland in Magic Kingdom. That didn't make any sense at all, did it? But anyway. Space Mountain is that it's a really good roller coaster. I absolutely love it. It's also one of the classic rides at Walt Disney World as well, much like Space Perth and some of the others on this list. So yes, yeah, Sp Space Mountain is number nine now. On to number eight. So at number eight we have the Haunted Mansion, also at Magic Kingdom, and I think this is another opening day attraction. It opened in 1971, and it is a omni omnimover type dark ride. And basically, what that means is. It's like a dark ride, but the the, the cars can move, to, can they can spin in a certain position, so that it can, the, so that they can make it so that the guests can see a certain thing at a certain time, and it's absolutely incredible. It's one of the best dark rides I've ever been on, and it's another Disney World classic, much like the other rides on this list, and it's absolutely incredible. There's there's loads of bits. Where, there's literally one of the most famous scenes on the ride is the it's like a a scene where it uses an illusion called Pepper's Ghost and basically what that is, it's like a um, it's, it requires glass and holograms to make it look like animatronics but you can actually see directly through them, it's absolutely incredible I love it and Haunted Mansion is like I said, one of the best dark rides I've ever been on and it's absolutely amazing, it's another classic ride and it's a fan favourite by for, for many people, I absolutely love it so Haunted Mansion is number 8 and now on to number 7 <laughs> So at uh, number 7 we have Big Thunder Mountain also at Magic Kingdom and this is an um, aerodynamics mine train coaster and I think it opened like in like the 1980s I think it was, some time around that and it is absolutely incredible, it's got heavily themed roller coasters, like basically all the Disney rides in existence have incredible theming, most of them I can think of. But it's absolutely incredible, it's, there's, there's lots of airtime on it as well, I absolutely love it. And I sat at the back row and I got loads and loads of airtime and it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, it's got he heavy theming and it's, there's, there's a very bit which winding through caverns and into the cave. There's like three lift holes and two of them are indoors and it's absolutely incredible. There's loads of heavy theming and it's absolutely incredible, I love it. So, um, 
Oh yes, Big Thunder Mountain is number 7 and now on to number 6. So at number 6 we have Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And this ride it is insane. This is the actual ride you're looking at here. It is so really, it's absolutely incredible, I love it. Basically it's opened in 2019 at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge as part of a new area at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And it's supposed to be as if you're actually flying in the Millennium Falcon. It's absolutely incredible. It's even an interactive experience. In fact, the Disney even passes up with a game engineering company just to build this ride. Because it's like, there's even controls you can do to control the, the speed of the ship. The, the, you can move it around, you can fire things. It's absolutely incredible. And it, the, 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 the ride, it's, like I say, it's supposed to be flying the Millennium Falcon, it's absolutely incredible, it's so immersive, you, you actually feel like you're actually flying in the Millennium Falcon and it, it's absolutely incredible, it's, I mean Star Wars fans would definitely love this ride, I mean even that right now it only has one mission on it, basically that means like one experience, Disney have said that, it's, that it can have multiple different experiences on it in the near future, so hopefully by the time I go back to Disney they will have implemented that into it. So yeah, Millennium Falcon Smuggles 1 is number 6, and now on to number 5. So we have now reached the top 5, and at number 5 we have Test Track at Epcot, and this ride is the fastest ride in all the Disney parks around the world. It's absolutely incredible. It's basically, the, the theme of the ride is that you've designed your own car for Chevrolet, and you are testing it in multiple different ways, and it's absolutely incredible. And you actually get to design your own car before the ride actually starts. It's absolutely amazing. And it originally opened, I think, in like 1982 with, with the park. But in 2012, it got refurbishment and it got the Chevrolet sponsorship. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, the ride is rumoured to be, get a new sponsor. It's rumoured to be sponsored by Tesla in the near future. Although so far that hasn't happened. But it is absolutely incredible. The best bit of the ride for me is the bit where it goes outside and it reaches the maximum speed of 65 miles per hour it's absolutely incredible I, I really love it I just love the feeling of racing really fast in a car outside in Epcot it's absolutely insane I love it so yes test track at Epcot is number five and now on to number four so at number four we have Rock and Roller Coaster at Disney's Hollywood Studios now this ride is the only ride in the entire Walt Disney World Resort to have inversions. It has three inversions, it has a, a, a sidewinder which counts as two inversions and it has a corkscrew. And it, once again it's another indoor roller coaster which is why it has the lights on POV because normally it would be in complete darkness. And it also has onboard on audio playing Aerosmith songs. It's absolutely incredible. I really love it. Basically it's, it's themed to like Basically, uh, um, you're in a super stretch limo on the way to Aerosmith's concert. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. And it's one of the only launch coasters at Disney World. Because Disney World like to build launch coasters now. Because they've got this. They've got Slinker Dog Dash, which is another map multi-launch coaster. And I plan to build a Tron roller coaster, which is a Vacoma booster bike. And the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster, which is a launch spinning coaster. But this ride is what the first one. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. So yeah, Rock and Roller Coaster is number 4, and now on to number 3. So at number 3 we have Avatar Flight of Passage at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And I know what you're thinking, this isn't a scene from the movie Avatar, this is the actual ride. It's a 4D simulator type ride it's that opened in 2017. This is what the ride actually looks like, as you can see here with the moving cars. And it is absolutely incredible that the, the, the views you get on the ride is absolutely breathtaking and it's, it's just so incredible. Basically the story of the ride is you're linked to an avatar via the link chairs and you are riding on a banshee around Pandora and it is absolutely incredible. And now that I've seen the film I know how it all makes sense because when I went on it I, no, I didn't see the film so I had no idea what was happening. I, well I kind of did because I heard about it but then I saw the film and it all started to make sense. But it's absolutely incredible, it's so immersive. And I love the feeling of flying through a planet with flat floating mountains on it, and and it's just absolutely breathtaking. Some people say it's even there, but the best Disney ride in the entire world. I mean, obviously on this list it's number three, but this ride is absolutely incredible, and it is just monumentally insane. 
and I love the feeling of flying on a banshee, but yeah, Flight of Passage is number 3 and now on to number 2. So at number 2 we have the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and this ride is absolutely incredible, it's the best drop tower I've ever been on, and I, I, I call this a drop tower because you might think this might more count as a dark ride, but it's also a drop tower because of the bit where it drops down. Yes, there's also, it's, the ride is just incredible. One of the best bits on the ride is the bit you've just seen then where it has the the ghosts appear in the hallway. That's also another example of Pepper's Ghost, which I mentioned earlier with Haunted Mansion. But this ride is absolutely incredible. It's so immersive and you, on some bits of the ride you just wonder how on earth did they do that. But obviously the best bit for me and also everyone who's ever been on it is the bit where it's it's more like a drop tower which keeps dropping up and down in complete darkness and it is absolutely insane you get some amazing airtime from that and it's absolutely incredible you're in an elevator right in that giant building that's, that says Hollywood Tower Hotel on it and the elevator dr travels forwards and back it can travel forwards and backwards and that's not like a normal elevator by the way and it also drops downwards and it goes up and down it's absolutely incredible I love the ride, you get some amazing airtime in it, like I mentioned. But yes, Tower of Terror is number two, and before we go into number one, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as I upload content much like this almost every single day. And now, finally, on to number one. So we have now reached number one, and my number one favourite ride in the entire Walt Disney World Resort is Expedition Everest at Anim Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now this ride is just, it is mental, it is absolutely insane, and it is also my number 11 roller coaster in the entire world, so that's why it isn't in the top 10, but it's, in, but it's number 11 so it's close. This ride was built in 2006 by Vekoma, and it is absolutely insane, the best bit for the everyone on the ride, including me, is a bit where you're going through a cave ride, and you go up a hill, you stop, and you see the, the section of track that is broken, and then you stop, you wait a few seconds, and then you start travelling backwards. And then it's in complete darkness, and it's absolutely insane, you can't see anything that's happening. And you start going forwards again, and there's a massive drop, and it reaches a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. This ride is just mental. And also, it has, towards like the end of the ride, it has the famous meme, where it has the Yeti on it, that, that has been broken since the ride opened. It was originally an animatronic, and it still is. But due to technical difficulties, this bit is basically the animatronic. It, it the animatronic was causing the structure of the rides to, to is that it was damaging the structure of the mountain. So they had to stop. Set, they had to pause the, um, the stop using the Yeti. They, they still, but they still kept it there. But they put flashing lights around it to make it look like as if it were moving. And that officially created the Disco Yeti meme, and it is just absolutely meme-worthy. It's just incredible. The ride is absolutely amazing, and I love it. But yes, I want to say thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like and subscribe, as I've got loads more top 5 and 10 videos planned for the near future. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like and subscribe, and comment what you would like to see next time. Bye.